Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Ben. I go by the amateur call sign K0BJJ, and this is a video continuing on our storm spotting and storm chasing series. You guys wanted to know what the storm spotting vehicle was all about. So, I'm going to get the gimbal out, we're going to get you on the headset, but before we start, you do see the, flat, the uh, antenna right here, fender mounted. This is a Comet Antennas um, CSB790A. It's roughly 60 inches tall for 2 meter 70 centimeter, and this is what gives me the range on top of my Anytone 578, which I'll show you here in a minute inside to uh, talk to the other spotter teams and that controls in the area. With that, let's get inside the cab and I'll show you what else is in there. Well, welcome into the cab. So I'm gonna take you through everything. Obviously I don't have everything powered up. One of the first things I'm gonna bring to your attention is our uh, radar set up here. And this is a Windows tablet. This can try, uh, put its own network on. It doesn't as SD card. We currently don't have the finances to do that though. So everything that runs off internet connection is currently hotspotting off this, which is my phone. Um, and this mount right up here goes the phone that you are currently getting record, watching, getting recorded on. So the phone that I'm using for recording is where that goes. This is the mount for this phone, but I'm not exactly happy with the placement of it right now. So it'll be, uh, probably be moving here. Down below that, we have the Anytone 578. Like I said, I currently have it off. I do have the AC going. It's like 85 degrees here in Iowa today. Um, but that has all my local repeaters and my DMR channels. Also off is my SkyBridge hotspot, which is where you're getting my APRS beacon when it's showing me not in China. And that has a, just a car connect to it, to run power for it. My DMR Anytone 878UV2 Plus is my DMR contact radio. So in the storm chase, when on uh, last Tuesday, or on the 4th, whenever you're seeing this, the 4th of uh, um, April 2023, when that when we were doing that, I was communicating via that radio. You did hear the 578 in the background a little bit. I also carry with me in the vehicle, and I need to get it out of its case, one-handed, always nice to do. A handheld on anemometer for doing wind, wind speed and wind direction. A nice part about this truck also is I don't know if you could do yet yeah, the display is not blinking my temperature and I said it was 84 it's 79 um temperature and direction facing so by pointing this into the wind putting in a monitor out the window I know what direction I'm facing I know the wind speed that is my main setup this is a Ford 03 Ford F-150 with four wheel drive, which is important for winter. And I always try to carry some first aid supplies. Um, I currently have a trauma kit that I would like, or we need to raise money for a trauma kit. I've got several trauma kits I'm looking for um, that are on Amazon for um, rendering aid if we were to ever see a tornado hit. It's got stuff like a tourniquet, four by fours, stuff like that, medical shears, um, I'm not an EMT. I do have first aid, first, uh, first aid basic training, so I can give you CPR, I can patch your wound, and I can put a tourniquet on you. But I would like to have something in the vehicle for that, just because when we are chasing storms, these are dangerous situations. So if we witness a, torna a tornado take out a house, or we see a car that's been hit, we can render aid to the point where we can plug wounds and wait for an ambulance to get to them and stabilize them or and or transport them in here. So 
I am going to do show you the back of the truck just because if you are ever chasing near me and you want to know it's me, if the antenna isn't a giveaway, there's another tall sail getaway. So giveaway. So I'm going to get back, get on the tripod again and get set up and I will show you how you know you will be behind me or you were around me when we're chasing. So I don't know if you can tell anything on this back window that would indicate what I want to show you. Not the call sign, not the frequencies here. By the way, you can just look for me on 146.52 if I am chasing around central Iowa. This is the local Newton Repair, and this is the Jasper County um, Airy Simplex. I am very rarely on these if I am out of Jasper County. I did forget to mention that one of the members of my team is right here. And this is our GoPro, which does our out the window shots. Or in the case of the 4-4 tornado, it did all the recording. So all that video that was on the 4-4 tornado was filmed with this um, by my oldest son, who is a, a very good member of my chase team when I can have him. So the video quality on that came from this Walmart action camera, it worked extremely well. I just noticed that it's upside down, probably because I put it back on up upside down, or put it in the thing upside down. Nevertheless, that's what uh, recorded the 4-4 video. But yes, if you are ever behind me, you have my call sign. If you need to get a hold of me, try me on 146.52. I am monitoring 146.52 normally on the Anytone 578. If for some odd reason I have two repeaters, uh, any longer repeaters on the uh, 578 up, I do have it on the handheld. So if you are close enough to read this, I should be able to get you on the, on the handheld. That being said, this was a look at my storm chasing vehicle, my storm chasing setup for 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. And with this weather getting absolutely gorgeous out, hopefully we can get out to the park here sometime. I would like to thank the, the people at, that are going to be following up at the end here, the people that have donated time, money, and material to our channel. So please make sure to hang out for the uh, slide below thank, or on the back thanking them. That's coming up thanking them. And if you would like to join that list, you can go down to buy me a coffee and help support the channel financially. Also, if you go look up my call sign on QRZ, there is a way to get a hold of me via email and or send me um, material. So if you wanted to send me a product to send out, try out, or you had some weather equipment that you want to test it or anything like that where you would want to mail me something, all my information is good on QRZ. You can get that there. The biggest way you can help support the channel though is by dropping a like on the video, hitting that subscribe button. And remember at 500 subscribers, we're giving away a ham radio care package. So with that, thank you for watching. And I wanna thank these fine people coming up again for their financial material and my, you know, their financial and material support. So thank you all and you have a great day.